Yo, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Slope Podcast. Hey, you know what it is, your weekly podcast on the Sakamichi series, Auto Groups, and be Nogi Zaka 46, Sakura Zaka 46, Hinata Zaka 46, and Yoshimoto Zaka 46. This isn't just any episode, this is season four, episode one, the fifth annual Slope Podcast Awards. I'm Jimmy, aka Jimmu Tweets, and I'm joined as always by my friends, my fellow hosts, your boy, boy Kuhn, and Josh, Mr. Josh Box. Yeah, our names are down there now. Look at that. Oh, you know who's that. who? I, I I had to look over to remember the name of my own Twitter account. Dude. Uh, <laughs> I was like, been, oh no, I'm about to trip up. Wait a minute. It's been it's that right long there. since the end of season three. <laughs> uh, new season, new year, yeah, new season, new me. <laughs> Oh, oh! Well, as you can, how, how as you can tell, that? all the overlays are different. A new style uh-huh. to them. Check it out. It's boy work. Uh, the same day but and night. Different. I guess. It's sleek. I like it. It's very sleek. You know. Mm-hmm. Just like just like you, just like you guys today, huh? Look at oh. look at you. Oh, Why are you wait, wearing yeah, a jacket? Oh. Why am wait, I wearing a jacket? Wait, what? Because <laughs> it's the awards show. Oh, Let me cheers, switch over brother. to the awards. Oh, wait, yeah. Cheers. Fifth Daniel. Oh, Fifth Daniel. Cheers. Water. <laughs> cheers. We made it. Ugh. Season four. But um, any uh, New Year's resolutions? Let's go. Oh. It's new year, new mm. me, guys. New year, <laughs> new me. Well, my, my, my resolution is not so much new me, but best me. Oh. oh. All right. I want to. I want. Oh, I want. <clears throat> Mainly two of my hobbies, I feel like I really kind of uh, let let fall this is the past couple of years. I mean, you know, obviously, circumstances withstanding, right? Um, the first one is I am resolved. Uh, obviously, if if uh, you know the pandemic is a factor and I can't really be helped, then it is what it is. But aside from that, I am resolved to compete again this year. Ooh, Ooh, let's go! I am. Uh, Putting it out there, uh, my goal is to do a, the California State Championships this summer. So oh, okay. uh, I'll be training for that. Right um, on. I'm, I'm saying this out loud in, in a, on a live <clears throat> podcast, so I have to be accountable now. <laughs> I can't like have it come sh- start showing up and be like, eh, maybe not, dude. I'm feeling not so ready yet. No, mm-hmm. I said it, so I'm going to do it. And then uh, the other thing is uh, I definitely want to take more photos, dude. Uh, I was talking about this in the pre-show, but... I was going through my my Lightroom collection. I had like three different collections for 2021, dude. Mm-hmm. Instead of like usually before, it would be like you know like every week I would have a different collection or something like that. You know, several days. So uh, definitely want to have some more photos to to look back on fondly this next year. Ooh. I look what about you guys? To, uh, yelling up at Jimmy as he competes. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Up, up. <laughs> or come on, <laughs> push, and then let's go when he complete completes the lift. Uh-huh. Ooh, that's uh, uh, that's that's what I live for. The let's go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, my New Year's resolution is to get a hair transplant. Damn, your boy's looking thin. <laughs> she, <Ooh. laughs> me, I'll just like fucking shave my she. head. I don't know. But uh, yeah. Speaking of like lifting weights, I I want to do it. I, I've I've been doing the five by five or whatever. Mm-hmm. I wanna try to get to two twenty five. Oh. I did two hundred five today, and it felt better than the last time I did it. So, it's looking okay. Nice, nice. Well, for what lift? Oh yeah, squat. Oh. I believe in we'll you, dude. See. You have a. Do you, you know, you have any questions or anything, you know, just always DM me, let me know. Work. I'm going to send you, like, videos and shit. How's my yeah. uh, form looking, Jimmy? Oh. Like, oh, bro, no depth. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. I need you to move Knees the Knees collapsing. <laughs> Jesus. Three degrees to the left so I can get a better angle. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, other than that, just usual shit. I guess that's every year, New Year's resolutions, right? Mm-hmm. I'm lose weight. I'm going to... Be more creative. I don't know all that crap. Mm. But mm. how about you, Josh? Mine is also kind of like Jimmy's, uh, where it's stay channel. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> best me. So like, I'm a uh, continue my weight loss journey. 
we'll keep going towards that. And right also kind of try to do maybe some videos, both business wise and personal wise, maybe for the channel. See how that goes. Mm-hmm. And yeah. get more more involved in that. I think those are my two main goals. Right on. Let's let's go. Slope club. Better us, I guess. Anyway. I, I believe in us, too. I believe in uh, us. <laughs> it's the first episode of season four. It is the Slope Podcast Awards. Let me switch over to the Ooh. thingy. Let's go, dude. Let's see. Let's go. The awards. What is the awards, guys? So, oh, 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 so this, is, uh, this is like really what this entire podcast, this whole show, and then eventually that became a channel was mm-hmm. originally predicated upon, right? Yes. <laughs> it was the original idea was that we were going to sit down. This is back in 2017. We were going to just talk about some of the highlights of the year, maybe give out some, you know, like, oh, what, what, what were your best songs or your, your your what was your standout moments, things like that, right? Mm-hmm. And then for whatever reason, we just kept doing it <laughs> every week. <laughs> and now we it is time for the fifth annual. Oh, my God, how time flies. But yeah, uh, no exactly uh, 46. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We we we've got we got more birthday <laughs> lives than some idol groups, dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's oh. True. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, but uh, yeah, the awards there are uh several categories. This is basically just our personal picks. Um so like I I'll have mine. Then Jimmy and Josh will have theirs. It's not a collective slow podcast thing. Uh, so mm-hmm. we just kind of, yeah, I like this one the most. You know, that kind of shit. Uh, there are the music and production category, the other releases, TV appearances and performances, the members specific category. Uh, what else? The Sad Boys Corner. I think we all know what that involves. Um, in 2022, what we're looking forward to, uh, to this year, and then just personal slope podcast uh, awards in that category. So let's say we go to the first category, my guys. Oh, the ooh, let's do it. Music and production category. So this involves, you know, best songs from Sakamichi series groups. Uh, music videos, choreography, etc. Stuff you watch, right? Or you listen to. Mm-hmm. So. Probably like the most like, I mean, it's all opinion based, but this is like kind of like the most objective part, right? Yeah. As far as like something tangible, measurable, right? Yeah. So the first award is the best Nogi Zaka song. Do we just go in order? Yeah, let's go in order. <laughs> yeah, let's just go down the list. Right, starting <laughs> with me. My best Nogi Zaka song is Kimi ni Shikarareta. Uh, Ooh. It's, uh, it's really cute. It's really fun. Um, and it's just, uh, uh, you know, what I enjoy from Nogi Zaka the most. If you watch our uh, top five Sakamichi series songs video, uh, Kimi ni Shikarareta was my highest Nogizaka song, so mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, likewise, uh, my pick was also Kimi ni Shikarareta. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I picked it for a little bit more personal reasons. I, I think the song came at a time where I really needed it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, uh, anyone who has been watching this show knows that this was a for a number of reasons kind of a rough year for me, and then having uh, in in the midst of that. Nogizaka announced not just any new center, but my new Oshiman, Kaki mm-hmm. Haruka, fourth gen phenom, to be uh, the center of this song. And then, like Boy was saying, it was an upbeat song, it was a cheerful song. It was exactly what I follow idols for to lift me up, lift my spirits up when you're feeling down, dude. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, oh, this is exactly what the doctor prescribed. And uh, yeah, dude, I- I'm so excited with this song. I, I- I hope to see more Kaki Haruka centers in the next year. All right. And mine is 
not Kiwinish. <laughs> okay. What is Mine, what a hipster? <laughs> Mine is Moshimo Kokoro ga Tomare Nara. And this song is just so unique. What song is that? <laughs> this is based on the recent single. And I, I just think it's a very unique song. It's a little bit all over the place. And I like that about it. It's very, has a lot of variety to it. And it just isn't a Nogizaka feel. And like them being involved in Nogizaka together, I feel like it's just a nice mix that I just, I just jam to the song. I, I just like on the car, I'm like, let's go to this song. And then I just play it. If you look at my top 10 of uh, Sakamichi songs, this was my number one Nogizaka song that I put on there. Ooh. All right. So that's the best Nogizaka song award. Let us keep moving to the next award, the best Sakura Zaka song. Oh. My best Sakura Zaka song is Dead End. Ooh. The horns pop off. There's Ooh. bongos, uh, you know, high energy. The call and response parts in the chorus, really cool. Uh, yeah, it just has a lot of energy. Very cool. Music video. Also cool. Mm-hmm. So my 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 pick. It's gonna be kind of a the antithesis to Dead End from at mm. least from uh, Nagare Dama. And it's gonna be Mugo no Uchu. All right, uh, a much more graceful, elegant Sakura Zaka song. Um, I, I I love this song. It was my best song of the year for uh, Sakura Zaka for our top five list. So maybe this is. This one's a little bit kind of obvious, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It just it, it just really takes you on a on a on a journey when you listen to mm-hmm. it, right? Uh, uh, I just really love the feeling of like, you know, it really encapsulates the time the, the title of the song, right? Mugo no Chu, like silent empty space. So, mm-hmm. All right. and if you watch that same video, you can probably guess which one mine is. It's Nagare Ooh. Dama. Ooh. I think this song just has the right feel to it. You know, it's a little bit funky, but a little bit a little bit driving in its sound and just brings in a lot of energy in not your typical idol kind of way, more of a like harder kind of way. And I just dig it. And I think the music video is just cherry on top, but just the song by itself, I think, is it was number one for me in my top Sakamichi songs. So it's definitely up there. Right on. We all have different songs for Sakura Ooh, Yeah, Variety. Uh, I think but they're all, all from their newest single. Hey, good for Ooh. them. Uh-huh. I think we all kind of agree that uh, Nagare Dama was the best Sakabichi single release this year. Yeah. Um, so let's move on to the best Hinata Zaka song now. Best award for me. Hinata Zaka song is going to be Kimishika. Katan. Oh. Very cute. I really like the chorus melody. Um, and they just kind of repeat the first line, right? Um, mm-hmm. And yeah, it just it's just quaint and cute. Very Hinata Zaka style. And it fits them really well. Mm-hmm. Um, without being too overly sweet like Kyun mm-hmm. or Doremi. Mm-hmm. So that's the one for me. Um, mine. I'm gonna hit everyone with maybe a little, little bit of a swerve, a little bit of a curveball. It's gonna mm. be Sekai Niwa. Thank you, Ga Afurete All right. Um, once again, this is one of those songs that I feel like really lives up to the title. Um, it's all about gratitude, right? Is it a little bit on the nose? Is it a little bit heavy-handed? Maybe, but that's the that's the charm of Hinata Zaka yeah, a lot of yeah. times for me. Right? Uh, is there so in your face about everything? Right? And and I feel like this song lives up to that. Um, I don't know. I, when I listen to it, it just yeah, it's like I have that 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 feeling of just gratitude overflowing for everything in my mm. life. You know, you know. Thank you, Maza, dude. Thank you, Faza. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Everybody. <laughs> thank you, chat. <laughs> thank you, chat, dude. Thank and and then chat's calling me out. <laughs> I like the MCR vibes from it, dude. It just makes me think of the Black Parade, except it's Hinata Zaka, so it's, it's a very though. colorful parade. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's like the the polar opposite of it, but reminiscent in a way, dude. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. 
All right. And then mine. Actually, Jimmy's was number two for me. Very close to being number one. Ooh. But number one for me is Kimishika Katan as well. Yeah. And this one, song. It's a good song. Yeah, I it's, it. it's a good song. It's catchy. You know, you hum along with it. And it just totally fits Hinatazaka. Like Boy said, it doesn't go too cutesy, which I, I like. I, I'm a little bit less on the cutesy sounding songs. And definitely like this style more for Hinatazaka. All right. Those are the songs awards. Let's keep it moving with the music video of the year. The, the damn, look at that budget music video of the year. And for me, uh, it's kind of obvious with the name of the award, it's going to be Deca. Oh, uh, the you can just look at it. Mm -hmm. The production value looks high. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> you get there like they're at the set and there's like the wind. There's like the CG monsters and shit. I mean, right, I don't right. think any other Sakamichi series group has had a, a music video with this level of uh, visual effects. Unless it was like, you know, hidden and we didn't realize it was <laughs> uh -huh. kind of thing. But uh, I mean, look yeah, at yeah. It. just look at it. Yeah. Right, yeah. That I, I yeah, going with the name of the award, damn look at the budget award. That's why I also picked it, right? We were me and Boy are going for little literal interpretations of this award. Mm -hmm. Um it, it definitely I, I feel like has the most polish out of every music video, right? Like you can see what you will about the concept. Um uh, maybe X video had a better concept or whatever, right? But you know, I feel like this was very polished. Like the like the the everything from like the lens choices felt mm -hmm. very intentional. Mm -hmm. Everything felt like it was shot for the edit. Like it was so cohesive, the vision that they had for it. And then yeah, you get this like giant CGI like mind fuck at the in the middle of the video. You know, like <laughs> oh, this ice cream storm is coming, dude. You know, and it's like you know, it's a it's it's very cheeky. It's very uh, Hinata Zaka uh, with a budget, and I, I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And mine, to change it up a little bit, mine is Nagare Dama. Oh. And the reason I say this is because of the pre-production that actually went into it. Because there's a lot that goes on in this music video, from the lights, to the set design, to the costume design, to the makeup. It's like everywhere with this music video. And you can really tell that they really sat down. Many people planned this. Many people got together to go ahead and just be able to come up with this music video and i think it really does show from the different scenes we have from the different cuts to the different lighting as the lenses and everything it all just changes up and i think i appreciate a really good pre-production in a music video all right music videos let's keep going to the choreography award the Takahiro Sensei Award. You know, Takahiro Sensei probably choreographed the most uh, Sakamichi series songs uh, with Create Boy runner up. But uh, mm -hmm. I will give my award for best choreography to Kimi ni Shikarareta. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you know, I you know, like the crown move. It's really cute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I was debating between this and Kimishika Katan, where they do this thing move. It's like they're both Create mm. Boy choreographed uh, songs. So, like, I leaned uh, more towards the cuter style of the choreography instead of, like, the cool ones like Teka or Nagare Dama. Um, so... Yeah, I don't know. It just really fit the songs because I guess I was just more into like, you know, the nicer, cuter stuff as far as the choreography goes. So, uh, I apologize, boy. I'm going to I'm going to swerve real fast from. Oh, from the but there's already links on the page, so we, we're good. But I'm actually okay. going to give it to uh, Mugon no Uchu. Oh, I, I, I feel like uh, just for the sake of, I was originally going to put Kimi Nishikarareta. But for the sake of some uh, disparity within the list, but also uh, that was my original gut feeling. But I was just worried about putting Mugon for too many things, 
but I, I, I'm going to do it anyways because I don't care. But I love the choreography. Uh, it really t- it takes me back to like a lot of what I like about idol choreography, right? There's a little bit more uh, downscaled and simple. You got a lot of like kind of arm gestures. Um, I like that they uh, incorporate the uh, the outfits into the choreo as well, right? Where like they'll they'll pull on the sleeves even if they're mm-hmm. in like a different outfit and things like that. Um, and then just yeah, it's just very I don't know, nice seeing a cute, elegant uh, Sakura Zaka choreo. Yeah, definitely not as uh. As so much of like where they're uh, little interpretive choreos, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, and mine right. is Nagaradama once again. <laughs> I feel like I'm just oh, he went for the opposite. Oh. <laughs> I actually wanted more, to go yeah. hard, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I think that's why I like it because they actually go hard in the music video. And I think for me, the biggest thing about this whole performance and the choreography is just the expressions on everyone's faces. Because everyone is able to express so well in this. And I feel like they just implement it so well into the choreography. And that just like takes it from like right here up here to like just the extra boost it needs for me to mm. put it and give it the award. Yeah, That's the cool. expressions definitely sell it. I yeah. agree with that. You all kind of picked a, a different style, right? Yeah. For mm-hmm. this choreography award. So That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we're going to keep moving with more uh, music and production awards. This time we have the Best Jacket Covers Award. Thank you for uh, for that suggestion. What is the award uh, called? Um, the Not Teka CD Jacket Award for Best <laughs> CD Jacket Award. <laughs> or, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> CD Jacket Covers Award. Uh, we This was suggested by somebody or more than one person, I think was in chat and YouTube. Mm -hmm. Uh, So thank you for that. Um, My uh, best uh, CD jacket cover award will go to Kimi ni Shikarareta. This is like the third award (laughs) I've given to this single. (laughs) Uh, I really like the uh, just kind of alternative uh, style they took on with this one. Um, You know? Uh, very uh, vibrant colors and just not the usual nogi, you know, like posed cute. It's very, uh, I don't know, kind of artistic, I guess. Um, and there's bugs in the background. So mm-hmm. that's going to be my pick. All right. Uh, we'll try to last second get a picture for boy because I forgot oh, to link word, one. Word. <laughs> but, uh, Mine is going to go to uh, the individual member versions of Time Flies for uh, by Nogizaka46. Uh, I don't. I just really like the concept. We've definitely seen, um, you know, like the memorial outfit type covers before, but I really like that uh, we have so many different varieties of this one. Uh, the concept of the members choosing the outfits themselves. You're getting a kind of a glimpse of you know, what kind of moments or outfits were significant to them, I think was just like a very interesting take on the uh, idea. And the com- the execution was done very well. I like, you know, like the members in focus. And then you have like the outfits in the foreground and stuff. Very cool. Josh? All right. Mine is also Kimi ni Shikareta. Ooh. Ooh. Especially the Yamashita and Endo one. That one right there. That one is my favorite because the symmetry, yeah, yeah, the symmetry, the oh, composition. I just said what you were gonna say, it might be <laughs> <No>. <laughs> the composition to it. I feel like is really strong because it's symmetrical, but it has some slight variance to it that help you not see it as too symmetrical because then that would be a little boring. So they add a little bit of interest because the background is symmetrical and so is the foreground, but then in the middle, there's the layers. And I think that's just really nice. And I also like the colors in it. It's very like monochromatic kind of in the greens, but also has like hints of different colors in there, which I think is really nice. And the bugs in the background really add a nice texture that Mm. I think just like helps complement it overall. Yeah. Uh, Chat saying, damn, nobody picked Nagaradama. Nagaradama was cool, man. Yeah, Yeah, it was good. It was good. But I'm you gonna have be our honest. Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> I, I like band more. Uh, mm. It was more uh, cohesive. Yeah. Mm. I feel like Nagaidama is a straightforward concept just done very well. Mm. Right. Yeah. So uh, that's our Best Jacket Covers Awards. Let's move on to the best outfit. This was also suggested, I think. Thank yes, you. I believe so. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, my best outfit pick is going to be for Wilderness World. Oh. Um, Ooh, it's, it's really cool, sword. kind of like tech. Uh, I, I don't even know. Like inspired. It's not like the elegant, the usual mm -hmm. dress looks that Nogizaka does. Um, but yeah, I, I like the patterns. Um, and, you know, some have the like translucent pants variation. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, just kind of like cool, techy looking. Really fits the yeah, yeah, like the whole vibe of the music video. So yeah. feels like <laughs> if a uh, Nogi Zaka collab with like Off White or something. You're right. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, Could totally see that. <laughs> Do you think those uh, yeah. th those transparent pants are made of plastic, so they like get all like moist and nasty in there? <laughs> So it's like, oh no, I got the pants. Oh no, is that what Josh can only think of? <laughs> like, 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 where we get the pants? I'm like, man, I got the pants. Dang it! <laughs> I'm sure there are uh, a mixture of, of like materials. Uh, you know, you know, there's like the Nike shoes. They have like the translucent kind of uppers. I yeah. imagine it's similar to that. I don't. Mm. Know. We'll have to see and, and get those pants to find <laughs> out, dude. Uh, I look forward to your uh, your outfit haul, Josh. Yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, my my best outfit award is uh, once again going back to Mugo no Uchu. I actually found uh, one of the designers uh, Instagram. Right, they they kind of talk about and show some of the details from the outfits. I love like the the ver different varieties of it. The overall silhouette, kind of borrowing from, uh, you know, like modern fashion, but also influenced by like kimono, right? Uh, all the different textures you have within the fabrics as well and the patterns. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just I, I feel like it just it was like a very cohesive uh, fusion for for an outfit. Um, and also, you have the Naruto sandals, dude. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's what, what it is, Jimmy. <laughs> that's what it is, dude. <laughs> the Nart sandals. Hell mm. yeah. All right. And then All mine right. is also going back, is Nagaredama, but Jeez, it's not the one you back. think. It's not the one you oh. think it is. It is the black outfits they were oh. during the music video. To me, I just feel like they're edgy and they really fit the song. And I don't know, there's so much variety in them. And it would be interesting to see them perform with this black outfit instead. I especially like the, the spiked little shoulders. Oh, they have? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they, yeah, have, they, have, they have. They have. They are, I think yeah. one of the first performances of Nagaradama, they wore the black outfits. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. yeah. So is that, is that why you wore all black today? That is why I owe a good eye, Jimmy. <laughs> He's part of Sakura Zaka. Look Ooh. at this guy. <laughs> Rash about. I have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> All right. Best outfit. I think that does it for the music and production category of awards. Uh we uh, we liked a lot of multiple th different things from one single. It looks like, you uh -huh. know, mm -hmm. I like the Kimini Shikarareta song choreography and jacket covers. Jimmy like liked a lot of uh, Mugo no Uchu, right? Different aspects, yeah. and then Josh yeah. was all into Nagaredama. <laughs> Way like thick. So. <laughs> it's, it's good when you can find like a. A, a work that kind of hits all the 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 itches for you right mm. all the niches yeah. as far as like yeah. visuals uh music outfits even you know yeah mm -hmm. good stuff a lot of good um, but, uh, music releases yeah but music isn't the only thing they put out huh mm -hmm. so uh it leads us into our next section it's the other releases and goods oh baby so what is in this section Jimmy. Um, 
Uh, you, you all know why y'all really here. It's for mm. the the passport award for photo book <laughs> of the year. Oh, photo book of the year. But yeah, you know, we also have like uh, the uh, award for best uh, non music release and merchandise, right? Um, yeah. So it's gonna be uh, yeah, basically the the products that they put out outside of the musical releases. So yeah, let's take it with the first one, the Passport Award for Photo Book of the Year. Uh, I'd like to think uh, we're connoisseurs. Oh, uh, we've, we've done a couple of reviews. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so Slow my enough, Passport right. Award will go to. See, I wasn't super into photo books um, this year because I stopped buying Sakamichi Series products. Mm-hmm. Because uh, you know, boy, still boycotting. Things. We'll talk Things about happen. that later. We'll talk about uh, that later. So I like I I didn't actually physically have any of the books to like look through, but I did go to Josh's house and look at some photo books because Josh buys every photo book. Uh, <laughs> when we say like that, so uh, <laughs> my passport award for photo book of the year will go to the Tamura Hono photo book. Ipome. Uh, I'm a, I quite like Hono. Um, you know, out of the second gens, she's my favorite. And so when she got a photo book, I was like, oh, I should buy it, but I won't. <laughs> God damn it. So, uh, yeah, that, that's going to be my pick. Uh, I like the cover with the, um, what's that? Uh, blue coat that is like at the station oh like the oh, yeah. yeah 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 that's it's very one. comfy you know it's got very comfy vibes mm-hmm. so yeah that's my pick my 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 uh award for this photo for a photo book of the year is actually going to go to hori miona's memorial graduation photo book itsunomanika mm-hmm. um I I am so glad that this photo book happened. I think it's uh well she's she's had three, right? She's had the 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 first one that we don't talk about, the redemption book. Mm-hmm. And then this one came very quickly afterwards, mm-hmm. right? Where because of uh, her graduation announcement. And so I almost passed up on this. But uh but you know, hearing hearing some some good news from Josh, I was like, "Okay, I'll I'll pick it up." Um and it it is exactly what I wanted. Uh finally, like, you know, Miona looks gorgeous. That was never in question. But we finally have some photography and some uh, production quality to go along with that, right? Um, I think the the paper quality very like really impressed me. Mm-hmm. Um, you get to really see like the all the contrast in all the photos. Uh, I'm a I'm a big sucker for contrast, so being able to see really see like oh look how dark the blacks are here, mm. right? Versus like you know like oh, okay the, this the shadows here and like that separation uh, was very nice, and you get to I don't know, it's like it's a book I actually go back to look at quite often so yeah i remember looking at it at josh's house and i was like oh look at the crisp pictures Mm -hmm. on this Mm -hmm. one Mm -hmm. yeah yeah i I think that one's for sure is like right there for me it's like it's like battling between that and my number one Mm. but my number one is wakaski yumi's second photo book she isn't a member but i still count this in the photo book running Mm -hmm. and this one, if you checked out Wakatsuki's first photo book, you know that her style is a little bit different than maybe some of the other photo books. And this one leans a little bit like that, but it also leans a little bit more towards a traditional photo book. So this one is able to be a little bit artistic in some places, in the photography, maybe in the posing, or in the in the scene they're in. And still have like the aspect of it being a traditional photo book with good photos. So I think it's a nice mix of the two, and it gets the award. All right. I, I'm honestly so surprised that she would put out a photo book after graduating, right? Because mm-hmm. yeah. it's, you know, it's like gen- generally it's like that. At least for me, the the uh, perception is that most members will only do it after graduation if they like really want to do it, right? Yeah. And so I, don't know, I just didn't, I didn't really see Wakatsuki as being like the, I want to do another photo book, mm-hmm. maybe, which, which I'm pleasantly surprised about, yeah. you know? Like, maybe because, like, oh, uh, you know, she wanted to do more of a traditional Look and, mm-hmm. s- and less artistic than her mm-hmm. first one while she was still a member. But I remember looking at previews of this and I got mad because she was so attractive. I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, the fuck. My prince. <laughs> My prince. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, so those are the photo book awards. What is the next one? Oh, it's Dat Clout Award for the best merchandise and non music release. You know, uh, they 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 generally put out a lot of nice uh, designs, especially lately, right? You're seeing mm -hmm. less and less of like the the very gaudy member's face it's just slapped onto a t-shirt right. and uh <laughs> a lot more graphic design and things like that so this is mm -hmm. you know a little little section where we get to reward some of uh yeah, the effort put out to some some nice merch mm -hmm. so my pick for best merchandise and non-music release is actually the nogizaka four seasons book and this link is broken what happened Did uh, they take on the website like, yeah i can't show you but i actually have the book so Oh, there we go. Grab, see if I can find it. Quick, here it is. The Nogizaka did a collaboration Ooh. with the Tokyo National Arts Museum, I think is what it's called. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, they released uh, a bunch of different goods and they had a bunch of different, like, uh, the ex ex exhibits and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and uh, when it showed that they're, this, is, this was part of the goods collection, I was like, damn. This would be really cool if it was like a, a reference style art book type thing. And it was. Well, it mm -hmm. kind of. Ooh. Kind of. Yeah. Like yeah, it explained yeah. the exhibit and the inspiration behind mm -hmm. it. And they had pictures of Nogizaka members and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, it was really cool. Um, shout outs to Ian Chan, like, who oh, yeah. got yeah, us yeah, the book. Much love. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's like one of the very rare opportunities to find a very high concept like artistic nogizaka photos right like mm -hmm. uh which it's it's kind of unfortunate because i, I think like you know nogizaka obviously has very uh, visually attractive members um but a lot of because of that a lot of the photography is very safe so you see a lot of more interesting stuff that you wouldn't normally find in in most photo books and then you turn the page and it's like ooh, look at this art dude yeah. I am now a person of culture. <laughs> I really like the Endo Sakura mm -hmm. photos. Mm. I, I can't. Yes, remember. yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I think my only thing is I wish it had all the members. Uh, yeah, I, I know it's that, that's a thing, but uh, aside from that, you know, it's it's one of the, like those. It's like the only photo book I would feel comfortable just having out on a coffee table and not being looked at as like a weirdo <laughs> for you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You mean you don't want Oda Nana's photo book out on your coffee table? Oh, <laughs> 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 well, anyway, <laughs> Jimmy, what is what is your pick? Uh, I I I, po I picked this specifically just to be different, but I still really like it. This is going back to that clout, you know. I want I want something that I can like bring around with me, and you know, really like oh look at look at that steez, dude, you know. Um, and that's going to go to the Nagare Dama photo tote bag, dude. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, and this is going back to what I was saying, you know, you're getting like more graphic design and more, uh, we're not so much graphic design in this case, but more design work, right? In terms of, uh, like their merchandise, not so much just a member's face or, or a logo slapped onto something. So I do like the allusion to the Nagare Dama music video with the rose design going like mm. up. The, the bag and through the the what is it the, the uh handle. the handle part and then back down right and then uh you know the little sakura zaka font in there um yeah it's a very steezy bag dude um mm -hmm. I, I would i would pair that with like my my guns and roses sb dunks and, and be <laughs> yeah. like go to the, go to the grocery store and make, be like a hype beast dude you know <laughs> sir would you like a bag no i have a no. bag she <laughs> is that the she Sakura Zaka tote? <laughs> Damn. He'll give you 10 cents for having it, dude. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> I still yeah. wish this design was on a shirt like this. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like yeah, draping through. Yeah. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. All What's right. Yours, Mine Josh? is the Nogi Zaka Four Seasons book as well. Mine is oh. in the other room, so I will not bring it out. So, boy, will present Here it for me. <laughs> And it's a really nice compilation of art, the exhibit, and the members in an artful way, as we were mentioning earlier. And I think it's, I don't know, it's just like a, a good package. And like, 
It's very presentable. Yeah. The matte cover yeah, the, is really the, nice. Yeah, yeah. The the contents do not betray the cover. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wish I can I, read that shit. <laughs> the moon runes. Put the, what do the they Google mean? Translate <laughs> app on your phone. You <laughs> Have gshow.org up on, a, on another tab while you... It belongs, in a, belongs in a museum or an exhibit as where it came from. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Um, that's it. That's, that's all the awards for the other releases uh, category. So... Mm-hmm. Let's keep it going with uh, the next category. Josh, <laughs> so, you know, to oh, be like, me. okay, to present mm. this award. <laughs> All right, this is I the. Get more drink. Oh, okay. All right, everyone. So this is the TV appearances and performances. Yes. Here we're going to talk about TV show moments, TV show performances, and our favorite TV show. So. How about we start it off with the Nogi Bingo Award for favorite TV show? Damn, it's been so long since the last <laughs> Nogi Bingo. Why is this still called the Nogi Bingo Award? Because this, um, this this award was made five years ago. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, fair. Uh, okay. My Nogi Bingo Award for favorite TV show is Nogi Zaka Kojichu. Wars. Oh, what oh, the classic, dude. Uh, mostly, <laughs> mostly because they put it on YouTube, and you know that's true, that's true. poggers, bro. The, yeah, the very best poggers. move. Poggers. Any, <laughs> best move from any group recently. Yeah. Nogi Chu being put yeah. on YouTube, dude. I just yeah. go on YouTube and watch Nogi Chu. Damn. Yeah. Dude, I, I have not missed. I have not missed the Nogi Chu for the podcast since it's been on YouTube, dude. Because it's just so convenient, mm-hmm. right? Uh, I, I feel like that's. You know, it's with the other shows, it's like kind of a hassle. We kind of have to like, okay, I have to, I have to go Find to some illicit to website, you know, <laughs> uh, deal with some, maybe some potentially uh, dubious viruses, you know, <laughs> mm-hmm. um, post some ads, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it doesn't work with ad block on. Okay, I got to pause my ad block, you know. Mm-hmm. Nah, dude, it's just, you know, Nogi, Nogi Chu, you just, ah. It's in my sub box. Click, dude. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Good stuff. Jimmy? Oh, right. Uh, well, what's yeah, your I pick? picked something different, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, despite all that, um, my pick is actually going to go to Nogi Zaka Star Tanjo 2. Um, oh. Well, we actually started with Star Tanjo 1 on the podcast all right, earlier at the beginning of the year. Um, but you know they have transitioned to the second season. Uh, I think this has been uh, the most pleasantly surprising show for me. Uh, I think this was something you guys started to do while I was taking my break due to personal reasons. I came back and I was like, "What we're watching this show during the post show now?" Ah, uh, uh, watch guess. party. You know? Yeah, yeah. I was like, ah, "Okay, I guess." I mean, uh, I don't know. Maybe I I'd originally thought I was going to just watch out on my own, but then I, knowing me, I probably never would have. You know. <laughs> But uh, it has been such, a, yeah, just as, as such a, a pleasant surprise, uh, getting to know the the fourth gen and four four point five gen, whatever we're calling them, right? Um, better seeing their their vocal abilities, seeing their personalities come out. Um, I, I just think it's such a good show for 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 the fourth gen. I loved getting to get to know them better. Um, I love the addition and two with uh, the senpai members coming in as well. Mm, I think that's yeah. a great touch. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's probably been the show I've enjoyed the most, uh, and it's to the point that I look forward, I look, started looking forward to watching it every post show. Ooh, thank you chat for that. Ooh. Thank you chat. I mean, clutch. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, mine is Nogi Zaka. Star Tanjo 2. <laughs> look at that. Oh. Ooh. Two as in the second season and two also. Damn. Yes. Two, two. 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 <laughs> Ooh. Oh uh, Yeah. I think Jimmy explained it well. It's showcasing members right now that are in 4th gen, 4.5 gen, generally 4th gen, because, you know, they're all 4th gen technically, and yeah. just showing their chops, showing their variety, and just showing that they're able to do it, and it's something to look forward to. And I also mm-hmm. like how the Senpai members, as Jimmy was saying, 
get to show up. Sometimes we're not too familiar with how they sound, so when they come up, we can hear them. Like when Akimoto Manatsu yeah. comes up, you're like, oh, how's she going to sound this time? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I think it's a very <laughs> enjoyable show, and I like watching the crowd reaction to see if they're clapping on sync or not. What a bully. <laughs> what a bully. That's all you do. You just bully. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Star Tanja is going to keep going, yeah? Yeah. Um, Seems like I, it. Yeah. So, yeah. more Star Tanja watch parties over here at twitch.tv slash slope club. <laughs> come Ooh. through if you, uh, you know, want to. Yeah, it's not going to go up on Star YouTube. Tanja. So, uh, come hang out with us yeah. during the live. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. What is the next award? All right. The next award is most memorable TV moment. Mm. Boy. Um, yeah, so there are a lot. It's not just like their own TV shows, right, that we're considering here. Um, mm-hmm. You know, the members or whole groups often show up on other TV shows. Um, and, you know, it's it's New Year's now and there's a lot of New Year's TV specials. I think those get forgotten. Yeah, <laughs> a um, while ago. You know, like early stuff in the year. But I'm going to give mine to a... Uh, Moment from Nogi Chu, uh, which was the second gen house, the Hori Miyona mm. uh, graduation episode. special episode. Mm-hmm. You know, they made it look like Terrace House, but it's all second gen members. And, you know, it's just uh, fun to watch. They're all just hanging out. They're like making food and doing karaoke and stuff. And Yeah. yeah. I guess as Nogi such fans, a natural vibe. Yeah. yeah. You know, the, you don't see the second gen get that much appreciation nowadays. Or any so time. To see them, uh, you know, be stupid and stuff uh, was pretty entertaining. Even Himura yeah. watching, he was like, damn, man, I want to be a part of this. <laughs> 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 you know, it was fun to watch. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, mine mm-hmm. is going to go to a uh, regular show. Uh, it's going to go to Nogizaka Kojichu, but specifically uh, the Kazumi graduation episode. Um, I, I just felt like this this had it all, right? Um, moments of laughter, moments of tears, everything building, culminating up to a moment of like, you know, like the history of the show, right? Um, you know, like uh, she she takes the members on a like uh basically a, like a, a find me game right they have to solve all these riddles uh a lot of them with like just various like uh throwback memories involved to, to solve the riddles i mean some things is just like i just like watching people get shocked right whatever uh mm-hmm. but then at the very end she does a performance of uh influencer mm-hmm. uh double centering with uh himura right and mm-hmm. I, I i was literally laughing through tears watching this when i when it first aired <laughs> And it just, yeah, it's like one of those moments that to me was like, this is what's so rewarding about following idols, right? Because it's like, mm. you know, if, if I haven't been following the lore for all these years, then maybe this moment wouldn't have meant so much to me. But but because you've been invested for so long, you know, for her, knowing knowing what Kazumi, her journey has been, and then, you know, like the laugh we've had with Himura doing influencer with them before, and then, you know, him honoring her wish to do it together. Mm-hmm. It's just like, oh, dude, here I am watching a, almost 50 year old men dance with these young girls and I'm crying dude. You know? <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. That was a good. All right. Uh, in uh, in a similar vein, mine is also a grad episode, but that's the Iku-chan grad episode. Mm. As someone who was a Iku-chan Oshi, you know, it was it was hard times during when she announced graduation up, up until a couple of days ago when she graduated. And mm. those grad episodes, I feel like, were just super fun. A lot of variety moments in it. A lot of games that they played. And it was just a good time, you know? They sat there just enjoying themselves, doing the headphone game, doing the box game. Just like... Yeah. Just enjoying themselves, which I think is the best part about any of the shows, when they just, like, enjoy themselves and be free. Yes, yeah. It doesn't yeah. have that, uh... What is it, uh... Yeah, it just has a very natural, once again, vibe to it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Didn't feel like they're like playing up personalities or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think that's why these episodes are, are the most enjoyable to watch. It's obviously there's a script that they're following, but like mm-hmm. it's not as scripted, I guess, because they're just like playing games like, and hanging out. There's, there's yeah. a flow versus like going mm. in and like making sure you hit different notes. 
Right, right. right. Yeah. See, I, I'm going to be honest. I wanted to put this episode as a, uh, as my pick, but I knew chat was going to be like, "Oh, Jimmy's just putting it because of the feet, dude." At the end, so it's like, <laughs> I wasn't the one who said it. I did not say I'm gonna, it. <laughs> I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to put uh, the Kaz graduation episodes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, there you go. The most memorable, uh, what is it? Uh, TV moments are grad episodes. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess they are. Yeah. yeah, and these are fairly recently, so well, the know. second gen house. Well, you know, that's, they, they, they gotta pull out the stop for uh, for the for yeah the grad episodes. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's move on to the next one, which is the best TV performance award. Ooh, you know they perform a lot on TV. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I had to give mine to the one they did at the end of the year. I will give it to Nogizaka's performance of Kikake. Hey. Hey. <laughs> uh, you know, Iku Chan's last performance with Nogizaka. Mm. Uh, I was at work and I'm watching Kohaku waiting for clips to go up. And then, like, kikake, they do kikake. I'm like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> um, it was just such a nice uh, performance. Like, they, the way they put it together, you know, Iku Chan's on the piano. Right. And it starts mm-hmm. with her and the rest of the first gen. Um, and then, you know, slowly the rest of generations come in. And it's like, you know, for people who don't follow Nogizaka, it, it might just seem like, oh, these girls are coming in now. And then now these other girls are coming in. Oh, it's the rest of the group. Oh, they're all there now. But, you know, the, the people who know are like, oh, the second gen's coming in. And now it's third gen and then fourth gen. So, uh, yeah. yeah, it was. And then, like, at the end when she, like, gave the message. Oh, like, that part. Crying. That part. Oh, she was like, crying. Like, yeah. She had tears in her eyes, tearing but up. she, like, yeah. you know, waited. Or, like, she, she held it mm-hmm. until after, like, you know, the performance. Mm-hmm. And so that, like, right. showed off a very, like, professional side of her as a singer, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah. I, I was torn. I was actually very, very torn. We were, I, I was... Figuring this out the very last minute yesterday, between either this song that uh, this performance or the record Taisho uh, mm. synchronicity, right? Uh, and oh, uh, synchronicity. Go many uh, fingers crossed. Sorry. Um, oh. All right. Uh, just because it was so good, right? Like I, I love mm-hmm, mm-hmm. musical performance of that, but I had to go with Kikake at Kohaku just because of the emotions that elicited uh you know yeah. as much as I enjoyed those other performances I legitimately like cried I like sobbed watching this right like not expecting to you know I was just yeah it's like oh I got my Kohaku it's the end of the year oh skimming through oh that was a good Nagare Dama performance okay where's Nobizaka dude oh wow they're a lot later than I thought you know, um, gen on the stairs. <laughs> yeah. we, 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 we've talked about it before. Um, you know, I think people underestimate how few of the group is first gen and second gen, right? Left. Um, I think first gen and second gen combine. It's like the same amount as third gen or something like that, right? <laughs> Especially um, by the and, end and, of uh, by February, you know, and they'll yeah, lose even yeah, more. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So it was uh, it was nice to have kind of like a I, I don't want to say like a final send off for those those generations at Kohaku, but you know, it's like you know, it, especially with Iku Chan in the center uh, doing the piano part and her leaving, mm-hmm. and this being her send off. You know that come next Kohaku, you're not going to have all these members again, right? And I think yeah. that's I think that's what really hit me, right? Because you kind of when you when you see them separated by generation, it's like you know it's like wow, and we're we're really coming down to the wire as far as like the original faces of the group, mm-hmm. um, and and yeah, it's just uh, it was such a nostalgic performance. It felt like one that was uh, for the fans, right? I mean, it's still one that a general audience can enjoy because it's Kohaku, but, you know, like like Boy was saying, the fans, the people who know, know, and it's just... When you know, you yeah. know. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I like that you brought up the Go Minute Fingers Crossed, though, because 
I was also kind of torn between that one, but that was more of, mm. of like the uh, like the arrangement, the orchestral yeah, arrangement, yeah. and the camera work. There's the shot at the end uh, when Sakura does the fingers crossed, but it's like nothing. Mm. It's just shooting like you mm. know a space, and then her hand goes up. And I was like, ooh, ooh. damn, <laughs> that's nice. That was good. Uh, so. And then mine, completely different. <laughs> mine is... Oh, uh, this was great, too. This is really good. Yeah. This is Izuka Dekiru Kyo Dekiru from the MTV Unplugged. And this is with Iku-chan and Kaki showing their vocal chops. And they sing during this one. They sing, sing, you know? Mm-hmm. I, th- I think it's a, one of my favorite Nogi songs, first of all. And just it being acoustic and, like, the band behind them and then them singing it with, like, nice harmonies and like nice singing and everything it's just like it's so good just mm. like it wasn't like Josh performance was also... or anything no very if you have, this, if you have uh... not checked out the mtv unplugged oh yeah, i recommend so checking good. checking out everything like it's all good it's mm. so good um yeah i i, I was gonna to, to go along with josh I've talked about before as a Kaki uh, I, I definitely see feel like her best vocal performances have so far been on Star Tanjo, right? And yeah, you know, we talked about on the show. Like, I feel like it's because it's a different environment. She's with like, you know, her her castmates, her fellow Nogi Zaka members. She can be a little bit more relaxed. Um, I feel like a lot of music show performances, like uh, CDTV and things like that. She even when she has solos, she kind of it, it's not the the level I've heard her sing at before, right? It's not bad, mm. but I've heard her do better. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of factors, nerves and whatever, yeah. right? Um, this, I feel like she, this is that comfortable, confident cocky that, uh, you know, I, I I have seen on Star Tanjo. She's like very uh, comfortable in her chest voice. And then having that paired with Ikuta's voice is just mm. like, a, it's like a match made in heaven, dude. It's such a mm-hmm. good performance. Mm-hmm. Need to watch that. Like it's kind of do it's kind of just okay, but maybe if I watch this, I'll be like, "Damn, best nogi song ever!" And I'm saying, "Yeah, <laughs> we'll yeah, see. Kinda, we'll see." It kind of, it kind of do be yeah. like that because I was like, "Right, I, I, I don't really care much for Itsuka Dekiru to be honest." But I was like, after watching, Itsuka Dekiru right. sleeper hit, yeah, because yeah, right. Right. sometimes the arrangement will like really change your right, like you know, yeah. fingers yeah. crossed at a record tie show, yeah. yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Those are some of our favorite uh, TV appearances and performances from the past year. Mm-hmm. Uh, let us keep going to the next category here. Let us fly through this. It is the members specific Whoa. awards. Oh. Everybody, you know, our favorite Nogi, Sakura Zaka, and Hinata Zaka members, and, you know, some other fun shit. Let's go to the first award. It's the the Mukai Jimmy Award for Rookie of the Year. What? Oh. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> rookie of the Year. Um, not all are rookies. Not no rookies. Actually, this is basically just I don't know. Newer don't gen, I guess. The newest yeah. gen. Newer, oh. newest gen. Right. That's the thing with rookies, man. You can't, you can't win it twice. They never <laughs> repeat wins. <laughs> so um, my choice for rookie of the year is Moria Rena. Oh, Let's go! Got a lot of recognition this year. Four yeah, months yeah. on Love It. Yeah. I think once she got on Love It, everyone's like, "Who is Rena?" Mm-hmm. <laughs> Even Love It was like, "Hey, you want to do another two months, bro?" Mm-hmm. So yeah, let's go. Now she's part of the mm-hmm. Love It family, I guess, and you know she'll come back on and off, just like the other members, you know, the Hinata Zaka members do that too. So mm-hmm. look forward to Rena more on TV. She's very cute. Yes, that's why I picked yeah. her. I, I feel like this year she was able to show a little bit more of her personality too. Yeah, I feel like before yeah. she was a little bit more in the background, but I feel like now, especially, you yeah. really see like her chops. Mm-hmm. It's a uh, nice to have such a cute member in Sakura Vazaka 46. What does that mean, Jimmy? 16, <laughs> let's go. Yeah. No, I mean, because like I, that's like her actual appeal, right? Was like, oh, yeah, yeah. She was like, oh, I want to be the, the the cute member, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, the majority you know, of like, them are cool. 
style cool right or like elegant or graceful or whatever right like she's she's got that you know it's, it's, she's got a more idly personality which i really appreciate uh much like my pick but it's coming from nogizaka 46 it's gonna be for you miki now dude mm. um i've i i've had to defend her to the like tooth and nail during star tanjo from the the uh beratings of my co-host what over there <laughs> I, I think she has been clapping in rhythm once <laughs> Who knows more better. than once, bro? Chat, yeah, maybe maybe Chat twice. Better. Maybe every twice. time she's he on screen. Every time. And I'm just like, dude, just let you Miki now live. Okay. <laughs> no, but uh, I, I feel like uh, not just on, on Star Tanjo, but other shows. Um, I've, I've, I've watched her on. She's, uh, you know, she does her radio shows uh, as well as, uh, you know, various uh, spot appearances. And she's just really grown. Uh, from the beginning, I liked her. I felt like she... Out of the, the new fourth gen had like the most uh she was the most comfortable on camera and i feel like that has really blossomed she's mm. so funny i think that's the thing right like uh, a lot of idols do the dumb funny and sometimes it's hit or miss it's mm. always a hit with her mm -hmm. like she knows exactly that fine line to, to 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 thread as far as like still making it coherent still making her dumb off base funny jokes make sense and I feel like that's definitely a talent and a skill. Um, and she's, you know, she's cute. She's also got vocal chops. It's just like, I feel like she's like the whole package. And I'm definitely keeping an eye out on her as far as uh, her idol career. Yeah. All right. And then Josh. mine is Yumiki now. Look at that. Oh. Can uh, he undo <laughs> the, the months of beration? <laughs> I'll just say she knows how to <laughs> grab attention on the TV screen. And that comes in forms of variety and singing, like Jimmy was saying. And like, I don't know, like, like, like you always like like catch her doing something. And I feel like it's very calculated, but at the same time, it's like not pushing it over where it's getting annoying. You know, it's it's very balanced. And I think she really knows like what she's doing. I secretly think she like knows English because like the words she uses. <laughs> when she's pretending to speak English, but like so calculated that I feel like her vocabulary is huge. And I don't know, I feel like she's, she's like five, five head, head, dude. She's yeah. five head and pretending five to be head. three. 400 head. IQ, dude. Yeah. Five head, Mika now. And she has her own right TV on. show too. It's all good. Yeah. There's an episode where she drinks and shit, right? So, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. dude. Cheers, Yumiki. All right. Cheers, Yumiki uh, now. Rookie of the year. Let's keep going. Now to the best Nogizaka 46 man, the Kaki Haruka Award. Who said oh. that? Who put this? <laughs> best uh, Nogi member for me. This year, I will give it to Higuchi Hina. Uh, she was just really good whenever I watched her on TV, on Nogi Chu, and Love It and other TVs that she was on. She was very, like, she had, uh, she always had uh, some, you know, her words that she would, the things she would say, it's good, and she just generally looked very attractive on TV. So, <laughs> you know, when, like that, I just remember that moment where she was like pointing at the cameraman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, right. right, right yeah, campaign. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And then, like, one of you know, the episodes where she was on Love It were really mm -hmm. good. So, she video with Nick. Oh, he Gucci son, guys. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> My guy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Jimmy? Uh, my pick is actually going to go to Saito Asuka. Oh. Um, first gen member. Uh, I, I, I'm picking, I, I feel like she's definitely uh, been a very uh, stable footing for Nogi Zaka to lean on in turbulent times, especially this past year. Right? Um, I think she's a very... Uh, reliable member right it's been very interesting to see her with you know, being like the youngest first gen member and and now she's like this like senpai member that people look mm. up to right um mm. i think it's very interesting but that you know without you, you you've seen her mature over the years without changing so much right as far as like she's still kind of that saito asuka that we we know and love and um yeah i don't know I, i've really been enjoying watching her more and more uh this past year all right, Josh. and then my Kaki Haruka award goes to Higuchi Hina as well. Oh, oh. I, I think this spawned from 
it's ever since Nick planted the seed. <laughs> like, <laughs> really? Gucci 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 because of him, right? <laughs> what? No, no. <laughs> um, yeah, she's really Miss strong. Hina. <laughs> really strong on camera. A star quality to her. Um, very attractive and good singer. I, I, I was looking at like different stuff that she was in, like Star Tanjo well, and she also was in the, the MTV uh, Unplugged. Yeah, and, yeah. She was I was very TV. surprised. I was pleasantly surprised. And yeah, I think overall she was a strong member this year. Was in a lot of stuff this year compared to maybe some of the other years she's been a member. So yeah, mm-hmm. rising up. Well, we just there need we that photo book. Am I right, boys? True. Oh. <laughs> I like that how, you know, she's a first gen member, so she's been around for 10 years, but it, it's, it feels like it's only been recently that she's like been able really to really blown like, up, right? Yeah, breakthrough. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's because the other first gens and other popular members have graduated, but I don't know. Hope to see more of her though. This coming. Yeah. Um, let's keep going. More awards. The Morita Hikaru Award for Best Sakurazaka Member. And my uh, Best Sakurazaka Member is this is okay. I, I got we got to preface this by, by saying that this we're not supposed to no, pick our she's, Oshis, right? Yeah, yeah. then that, that's just a boring award. We, we just pick our own Oshis, mm-hmm. but uh, anyway, um, my best Sakura Zaka member is Rena again. Oh, ooh. let's go. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's just uh, it was nice to see her in the front more. She made two main Senbats lineups, right? Ban and Nagaradama, and then she was on TV a lot more uh, than just Sokosaku. So, let's go Sakura 8. I believe, I believe. Uh, Mine is going to go to Kobayashi Yui. Uh, We'll we'll talk a little bit more about her hiatus later, but uh, I felt like that you know, it's one of those those moments of like you don't ever really appreciate what you have until it's gone, mm. kind of thing, right? Like, uh, I, I, you know, it's not like I never disliked Kobayashi, like Yui Pon. I was just kind of whatever, right? I was like, yeah, Yui Pon's, she's cute. She's, I had my whole thing. She felt like my rebellious teenage daughter. You know, she's at that age where her old dad is just not cool anymore. Just we couldn't, we couldn't, <laughs> we couldn't quite see eye to eye anymore. I feel like you right? made this. That's what I'm saying. I'm alluding back to that, right? But uh-huh. then. Uh, and then uh, after during her hiatus, I just I, I I felt like I really missed having Yui Pon in the group, mm-hmm. right? And it just kind of gave me a glimpse of like, man, you should just appreciate what you have while you have mm-hmm. it, dude. Mm-hmm. And then fortunately, mm-hmm. she comes back like a rising phoenix, doing that Jamaican beer performance, dude, looking like a a member of BTS and Yo, shit, dude. I was like, oh, like let's go, butter. dude. <laughs> Coming in smooth. Let's dude. go. Yeah, so uh, yeah, my pick is for Yui Pon, dude. I hope she uh, gets a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of more focus on her and the group this next year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and my pick is Tamura Hono. Ooh. And this also relies back on the Nagaradama reference from before, but I think she's just been killing it this year, and like performance wise, variety wise on TV, and like. In a lot photo of different book. aspects. Photo book, yeah. true. True, photo, photo book. book. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I think just like everywhere, she's an all-rounder and like just killing the game. Good stuff. All right. So our favorite Sakura Zaka members this year are 2021. Let's keep going now to the best Hinata Zaka member, the Kosaka Now Award. Shouldn't this be the... the... Never mind. Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, best Hinata Zaka member, I will give to Katosh Katoshiho. Uh, she centered my favorite Hinata Zaka song. And um, I don't know. She's really pretty. That's it. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> keep, I agree. Keep going. <laughs> Josh, you might want to... Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know why it says that. that link. Anyways, <laughs> um, so my pick is going to be for uh, Osushi, Kanemura Miku. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of obvious, right, with uh, with Tekka, her centering that. Tekka. Um, I, feel, I, I feel like, you know, we, we, we've been we've been trying to manifest it for a while, right? Like, oh, mm. new center, maybe Osushi, possibly. 
Yeah. Um, and she she took it and she killed it, dude. Um, you know, mm-hmm. a lot of we've seen a lot of idols get that opportunity, and uh, not everyone has rolled with it as successfully as she has. Right? She started getting some some commercial works and more 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 outside work because of that, or since that, anyways. Uh, mm-hmm. And I I feel like uh, she's been doing very well with it. Uh, I feel like it's you know uh like the 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 I feel like center tends to be a thing that fans want for the idols more than the idols want sometimes mm-hmm. right where it's like all the fans want it right but then when when the idol actually gets announced for to be center she's just like fuck dude yeah. but i feel like miku has always been one of the ones it's like i want it i want to like i want to rise up to the the challenge dude and uh mm. i just like that that spunk that hood spud right. you know yeah yeah, yeah. Josh, who's right. your and then best? My Kosaka Now Award goes to Sasaki Mire. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, to me, for me, she stuck out a lot this year. On TV, I feel like variety, her variety game is just leveled up. Even though she was already strong, I feel like it's leveled up a little bit more. And I don't know. I, I think she got a little bit of a glow up this year. Which was already like a high bar, so yeah, I, I think she's just been a strong member since forever, and and this time she's got like bonus stats, mm. Mm. and that's why that's why for me she was the best one this year. Let's get that bread. All right, keep us Tina Tazaka members right there. We're gonna keep going to a legacy award of the Slope Podcast. Ooh, I was about to say the exact same Ooh. thing. Ooh. The next award is the Yonetani. Nanami Achievement Award for Glow Up of the Year. There we go. Who knows who she is? Who, like, you know, new Sakurazaka fans, they don't know her. <laughs> Glow Up of the Year. <laughs> They're, lost. Or... They're lost. Man. They're lost. Yep, yep. <laughs> They're <Missing lost>. out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, you know, the this is the Glow Up, right? Uh, uh, what? I, how do I explain? Glow Up and Nani. Yeah, right. glow up it's, Denani, it, guys. You know, it's just it, it just want to take a moment to appreciate that a member well, he has really just stepped up in terms of maybe the hair and makeup, right? Uh, the overall appearance. Um, sometimes it just be puberty. You never know. It could be anything, right? Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's uh, you know it doesn't necessarily mean that they were like were ugly or not attractive before, but it just it's simply what it is. They cool. just glue up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so. My globe of the year is uh, Nakamura Reno. Uh, Ooh, this yes. might be because uh, you know we don't see her that often on on Nogichu or anything True. like that. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I really like uh, the brown hair uh, on Reno. Mm-hmm. Um, also, she's grown taller, so like, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, it just uh, adds to. The glow up, chat says, uh, no he I put I put Hiotan last year, bro. So mm. uh, that's right. Reno, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Reno this year. Yeah, I think uh, you know, Reno is one of the ones where it's like that that kid to young lady glow up was what really hit, right? Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Uh, I I I'm going on a little bit of a uh. A swerve with this maybe i'll take some heat but uh it is what it is because i do think that this was the strongest glow up but potentially of all time oh. second oh. only to yonetani nanami's true, true. um well, always second the only glow up i've ever had for something that was ugly before and now very aesthetically pleasing oh mm. right and that is for nogizaka 46's member profile pictures oh. um <laughs> <laughs> Those their profile pictures were so fucking hideous before, dude. Oh my god, they look like the worst passport pictures, right? Everyone's faces were blown out. You couldn't see anybody's facial features, not a cheekbone in sight, right? <laughs> finally, yeah. finally, we can actually see what the members look like. Yeah, and it's important look, look, because it's their Reno it's, looks great. It's literally looking. their <laughs> yeah, it's literally their profile pictures, dude. It's it's what the general <laughs> per audience would go to when they're looking up this person, right? Uh-huh. Like, mm-hmm. oh, I, I, who who is Kitano Hinako, dude? Uh, oh, let me Google, and then you get her profile picture, and if it's ass, then it's not doing her any good, dude. Uh-huh. 
Mm, true. True. And so we finally get some some decent Nogizaka profile pictures. So I had I had to put it in. I had to. Fair, fair. He had to do it to him. Mm-hmm. Josh. All right. And then mine. I guess since we're on the Nogizaka train over here, uh, mine goes to Kitagawa Yuri. Go oh, West Coast. West, West Coast, Coast West go. Coast, dude. So the cow. homie, the homie from down the street. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I, I think she changed up her makeup this year. Her hairstyle changed a little bit, especially at the end of the year. Oh, and sure, I think mid part, right? Yeah, yeah, and I, I, I think it's looking really good. Make maybe more of the the young lady kind of feel, you know. And I think I think it fits her really well. So mm-hmm. props, props to Kitagawa Yuri. All right, good stuff. All right, next award is the Masamoto Kira Award for Most Likely to Succeed. Mm. Ooh. Uh, Who know, was this before? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Most Likely to Succeed, you know, uh, the, the member you want to see do better. Uh, was it get... Nagasawa Nanako? Oh, or... yeah, I think so, yeah. Mm. It was the Nako-chan. Yeah, yeah. Nako-chan, see, and then uh... we changed it to Kira last year. Uh-huh. Yeah, do 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 even better this year. So my uh, my Smoto Kira award uh, for most likely to succeed it will go to Kubo Shiori. Let's go Kubo with Iku Chan gone. She is now best vocalist in Nogizaka. Gonna step mm. it up. Gonna show up. Let's go get into all these roles and singing. I don't know stage. I don't. I don't know, man. I oh, I just really like her voice actually. So mm-hmm. I hope to see her more uh, in in like uh, yeah, singing parts and stuff like that. And you know she has her own show and no- Nogi Doga and that Miyagi thing. And I don't know. hopefully she shows up on on more TV and gets more work. So let's go Kubo. Mm-hmm. Uh, mine is going to go to Kanemura Miku. Oh. Uh, also my pick for Hinata Zaka, best Hinata Zaka member. Uh, mm-hmm. for very much the same reason. I feel like ever since Teka. She's she's really kind of ran with it. Um, I'd like to see her become a standout face of the group, one mm-hmm. at least one of, right? Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna put her for most likely to succeed. Okay. Uh, for me, I put Endo Takura. And the reason why Ooh. I feel like it, it's right at the brink where she's gonna start rising in popularity. Manager's gonna push her even more. She's gonna get a center for a song. She's gonna be in front of everything. She's gonna be the next it girl for Nogizaka. I feel it in my bones. Oh, it's like she already is, but even more so. Damn, even more so. Right. It's like, yeah. <laughs> All right, there you go. Okay, next uh, award is the Masmoto Kira Award for weirdest member. Ooh, damn, it's two cool awards word. named after. <laughs> damn, well, because it's just. Who else would you name this award afterwards? True. Yeah. After, dude. True. <laughs> well, uh, my Masumoto Kira award for weirdest member is uh, Masumoto Kira. Oh. Uh, oh. She just weird like that. That's all I gotta say. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, much to everybody's surprise, my award is going to go to Masumoto Kira as well. Oh, okay. uh, who, who else would mm. think to cheer up a member? By getting their head stuck in a chair. Oh, <laughs> yeah, dude. Yes. All right. Josh? And then mine is uh, Matsumoto Kira. <laughs> Again, it's the Matsumoto Kira Award <laughs> for the weirdest member. And who else is it going to be? <laughs> All right. There you go. That's the weirdest member. Award. I don't know. Maybe Fist and Don Zaka will bring an even weirder member. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Yeah, what a mm. legend. Uh-huh. Uh, undefeated. Damn. Undefeated, look at that. All right. <laughs> Let's go to the next award then. It's the best pairing, you know. Idol groups. A lot of pairings. You know, Zakuru. Pretty mm. uh, classic, <laughs> right? You know, uh, uh, what, what are they called? Reika and, and Wakatsuki. You know? Ooh. Famous mm. pairing. Right? Uh, Karagishimai. Um, oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Mayan and Manatsu, great pairing, best pairing. But uh, my best pairing award for for this year, or 2021 rather, will be the Kira 
and Akanen pairing. Such a uh, dysfunctional pairing. <laughs> it's like a mom with her kid mm-hmm. kind of thing. Uh, just really funny. The love-hate relationship. Like, you know, on Sokosaku, they're always fighting and shit. But like backstage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kira is very clingy to Akanen, right? So, mm-hmm. there you go. You know, I, I had initially put mine uh, because I felt like there just wasn't as many other pairings this year. I feel like a lot of uh, idols are now stepping away from the, the pairing and going for the harem. Oh. Right? Oh. Uh, like, the like, Okada like Nana Habu. special. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah. Oh, Habu, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like Habu, right? She, she used to be, it used to be Koike Habu was like the couple. Mm-hmm. And now it's just like, nah, these are all my bitches. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But um, this one though, yeah, it's it's very different from the the usual kind of kind of coupley pairing, right? Uh, like Boy was describing, uh, it's Kira and Nen with the the very motherly relationship, right? Mm-hmm. But uh, I think with even with the memes, that was initially kind of why I went with it. But then with Nen announcing her graduation, uh, a lot of like some of the interviews coming out later about how mm-hmm. how Kira like basically threw a tantrum because they weren't in the same coupling song together for Nagare Dama. Because at the time, only she knew that Nen was planning on graduating. So she mm. wanted their last coupling to be together, yes, right? So everybody, yeah, right? everybody thought she was just being childish. You know, like uh, she was getting scolded by staff because they're like, isn't that kind of rude to the other members? You know, you can't just be with Nen whenever you want, you know? But then only Nen knowing why she was crying, you know, like throwing a tantrum was like, kind of found it amusing, you know? And I was just like... <laughs> So Nen told Kira like first. She was the first person. To yeah, know. I think she was the one the first to know. Yeah. Damn. Okay. All right. That's how you know their relationship and bond is strong, so strong mm. that it's mine as well. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Kira with another hat Double hat trick. trick. <laughs> <laughs> Never been seen. What a legend. Yeah, right. it's like big sister, little sister. It's like that rivalry, but yeah, like they're friends. It's like. Just mm-hmm. wholesome and like good, you know. Yeah, yeah. You love to see it. You love to see yeah, it. You love yeah. to see it. All right. Too That's bad you one. can't anymore. Uh, <laughs> let's go on to the next award, the best Minami Award, the Takahashi Minami <laughs> Award for best <laughs> Minami. <laughs> um, we have three: Umezawa Minami, Koike Minami, and Hoshino Minami. Mm-hmm. Uh. My best Minami award is obviously gonna go to Umezawa because she's my Oshi man. What the heck, man? Also, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, that's it. I, uh, you know, it's it's tough. I, I was, I, I feel like I wanted to go with Hoshimina with her graduation and everything like that. Mm. Um, but I, I, I feel like she. To be honest, I feel like she's kind of been on her way out with the group mm. for a while, right? Not a bad way, but you know, she's just she's she's ready to move on with her life. She's been right. with this group for a while. Uh, Koike, uh, as much as I like her, uh, aside from being uh, blonde, I can't really think of much much else with her specifically this year. Uh, so I'm gonna have to give it to Ume. It's My just, uh, you know, she's. Uh, very attractive. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> All right. I, I was I was thinking, you know, Hoshimina. She's already out the door, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she out. <laughs> Damn. Got caught with her man's. Nah. <laughs> um Korki is I, I think is a is a good choice. You know, she's blonde, like Jimmy said. He has a cute personality. He has a dog. Yes. But my choice will go to Umezawa. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Ume with the triple. Yeah. I should also add that uh, even though it came out last year, I finally got Ume's photo book this year. Highly recommend. Mm. Yes, Highly sir. Recommend. Yes, sir. All right. Let's keep going here with the next award. This was an award that was uh, 
Our chat just said nobody, nobody even mentions <laughs> she's vice captain now. That yes, doesn't even matter, reason, dude. She's my OC, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep going here with the next award. This was introduced last year, was it not? Last year, uh, a newer award coming in. It is the Chip Skylark Award for best teeth in the game. Shiny oh, teeth and oh. me. Shiny teeth, shiny teeth. Uh, best teeth. You know, we talk about teeth. We're not dentists or anything, but we just comment mm-hmm. on the members' teeth. Mine will go to the brace, the two of them, Kira Ooh. and Yakubo. <laughs> they both have braces. Kira's braces Price are done. Dang, dude. Uh, she did a stream with Fu Chan and they were gone. Ooh. So, Sag, Sag. Never see that again. But yeah, I went with the the two who have braces. Let's go, Jimmy. Um, so I went with one specifically because I I went with Kaki last year. Mm-hmm. Didn't, I didn't want to do the two peat. Um, also she's my Oshiman. It felt like it'd been too obvious, and we all know that she still has some of the the best, most blessed genetics in the game. But I wanted to give it a shout out to somebody else. I'm gonna give it to Yumiki now. Uh, for Ooh. a little different take, it's the rabbit teeth mm. on point. I feel like this could have been uh, Yamashita if she didn't go for the fake ass, straight, <laughs> everything, even teeth. Dude. Just one, like, might as well just been one yeah, big it, tooth. It's just it, yeah, the it, mouth it's just, guard. It's it's all parallel to the ground, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is this is nice. It's got charm. It's got her own personality to it. She has a very unique, distinct smile. And that's Very why I'm going to go with yeah. Yumi Kiru. Yeah. Pair mm-hmm. with the high cheeks. Very nice. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. And then mine is the goat, Kaki. Ah. And then click on the link. I'm putting some respect on her name, dude. Psych! It's Yamashita Mizuki. <laughs> <laughs> what a buster. <laughs> Disgusting. Look at those straight teeth. You they can't see oral, any more perfect. I have a 403 forbidden when I click on it, dude. See, that's that's how that's how how cursed your link is, dude. You do not have permission to access the URL in this server. Dude. Josh is still the enemy of naturally yeah, straight teeth. Uh. Disgusting. <laughs> oh man. Uh there are a lot of members with nice teeth. Um, uh, especially mm-hmm. Nogizaka. They're like, hey, you better get braces. You want to join this friggin' group, man? Yeah, that, that I'm just saying, dental, Yamashita dude. took the shortcut, you know? Nah, if she had braces, least... who knows if she would have been as successful as she is now, you know? Dude, at least get aligners, bro. You you don't you can't tell who got aligners or not until you see like a really close up shot of like them talking or smiling. Like Kaz, yeah. no one knew. Dan Chan, who knew? Yeah, Josh it's not it's not the straightness brain. about about Yamashita's teeth that bothers me. It's the uniformity. <laughs> you know? It's just like Kimura, dude. It's like when you it's like when you go to a, like one of those neighborhoods where it's all those same houses, like the same model houses <laughs> that they just it's just like, oh there's no there's no character here. Dude, you know? Uh, exactly. All right. They're just all straight, all the same. Just like how you oh, want to at least put a lawn gnome out, dude. Make make one thing one thing a little different, dude. <laughs> Oh man, let's keep going uh, to uh, more awards. Uh, this is the last uh, award in the members section. More features: the Lip Mole Award for Best Beauty Mark, and who else could it be than Umez Lip Mole? Let's go. You know, um, I think I think there was a lot of worry with the Nogizaka fans with uh, Shirashi Mai's graduation. Right, uh, we're losing one of the mo- probably one of the most iconic lip moles in the idol f- in oh, in true. idol fandom. But fortunately, Umezawa has just really stepped up, picked up the torch, carried that mantle, and uh, yeah, it's just it, yeah. who else would you pick for best lip mole in the game, dude? That's right. It's yeah. uh, the, it just moved to the other side, you know. That's just cool. <laughs> you know, like Google cool. Photos still like thinks. Umezawa's Hiraishi for some reason. It's because of Lutmo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, uh, there's a lot of members with, like, you know, pretty prominent, like, moles and stuff. 
you just yeah yeah like that's just not like we're talking about or... their defining feature like yeah you don't notice it on asuka as much as you do on 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 ume right right mm, that's so. true josh is that your pick mine also? i was gonna change it but now stick with it <laughs> mm. Let's because i originally took it as the lip mole award and then i completely ignored the rest so i will stick with mine yeah i mean there's there's a lot of you know Hono's if not it would have been kosaka nice. now kosaka now has her features you know so uh yeah that is the members category it's the longest one on the slope mm-hmm. podcast awards but uh yeah. let, let's go on to the next section here a little bit of uh a, a sadder, I guess, a section. It's the sad boys corner. Oh. You know, uh, idol fandom. It's not. A, it's not always bright sunshine. You know, sometimes, sometimes we be going through it, dude. You know, mm-hmm. whether it's a graduation or a mm-hmm. hiatus, bad management decisions. Uh, We've all been there. And so uh, the first award we're going to have is the hiatus of the year. <clears throat> uh, my hiatus of the year is, is there's only one. For me, it is Kosaka Nao's hiatus. Mm. She ain't even back yet, is she? I didn't watch Hinakuri. No, no. <laughs> See? Nah. Where'd she go? Waiting, brothers. All, all the Ohisama you. was like, she will return. <laughs> Hinakuri's... Nope. Going to be it, brothers. It's gonna uh-huh. happen. It's our oh, moment. She's she's still gone. Where'd she go? Come on, I need her presence there because she like brings down the group. A, she balances. Yeah, she balances out that mm-hmm. group. We're not group being group. as weird uh, or as rowdy as the others. So I mm-hmm. I need her back, please. Damn it! Yeah, I, I kind of went with an opposite direction. I picked mine specifically because it wasn't. Uh, uh, the saddest one. Uh, I wanted to. I wanted to interject some hope. Mm. Um, so my my hiatus of the year is uh, Kobayashi Yui, right? Uh, I, I feel like she she just really came back stronger, better than ever, right? Uh, I feel like she, you know, sometimes you gotta take a hiatus to take care of yourself, right? I think we were very kind of like, let's go, let's when she announced it, right? Like let's go, Yui Pone, right? Like take care of yourself. Mm-hmm. It doesn't. Mm-hmm need to be something drastic for you to take a hiatus if you need it you need it yeah. um we got a little worried there for a while as it kind of stretched on mm-hmm. but then uh yeah at the end when she came back for uh, i believe it was tokyo dome right and was like "Ooh, let's fucking go mm-hmm. and so uh i i hope with all your hiatuses end the same way yes all right. mine is also kosaka now and for the same reason where is she it's been so long that they had, had to give the center position to someone else. <laughs> yeah, she still got the old outfit on the profile picture. Uh, uh-huh. uh, it's uh, an update or something, you know? Last blog was in June. Oh, where mm-hmm. is she, man? We're just where waiting now. Maybe she's getting the dentures in the meantime. <laughs> Her teeth is fine. She already You're got fine, them fixed. Dude, she had, uh, yeah. just kidding. Yeah, no, she, she already got teeth. the dentures. Yeah. She, she got it, yeah. Well, we'll see. We're sad boys now. Let's yes. keep going well, to uh, a, a little worse of an award. The Naimono Nedari Award for Saddest Graduation. <laughs> oh. Naimono Nedari. When idols graduate eventually, uh, there are many graduations, especially from Nogizaka. Mm-hmm. So uh, mine will obviously be the Ozono Momoko graduation because she was my mm. Oshi. Too soon. Too soon, Too dude. Too soon, dude. Had like three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even a Momoko Oshi for a year. Peach gang. You just gang. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh. Peach Nakamatachi, dude. <laughs> uh, you know, because I. Just because I, I really like uh, uh, third gen, also uh, you know they're my favorite Nogi generation because uh, mm. I, I watched them since they joined. Mm. So uh, yeah, it was a it was a sad one for me. 
Uh, mine is going to go to uh, Ikuta Erika. Uh, this one, it crept on me. It really did. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I feel like when the, the announcement initially came out, I, I was very like ambivalent about it. Right? I was like, oh, it's just it's part of the fandom. It's what happens. Uh, you know, uh, you just gotta get used to it. And to a degree, I still feel that way logically, right? But then uh, as as it like really started to sink into me. Um, and I've, I've had more time to reflect on it. You know, some a lot of my earliest memories are with uh, Ikuta of, of Nogizaka or Ikuta Erika. Uh, my my first exposure to Nogizaka in general was uh, what is it when they appeared on AK Bingo versus Team mm. K, and then uh, Ikuta Erika does a little ukulele song, right? Mm -hmm. um, and she's always stuck out to me ever since then. Uh, I've never picked her to be my my Oshiman exactly but like you know she was always up there right uh i've always enjoyed her and i feel like she's one of the ones that like you really got to watch her grow up and i think that's what hits me the hardest right it's like man like she's given us so much from like being that kid with the ukulele you know singing levon polka and all that stuff to like mm. growing into like the performer and artist that she is now yeah uh Josh conveniently leaves as Jimmy finishes it's his turn. His yeah. award. <laughs> I have to head out. out so you can oh, just what? read my part out. God damn it, Josh. Oh. All right. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Uh, uh, yeah. So Josh had to go. Uh, unfortunately, uh, had to go probably take care of some things. But uh, so we'll be reading out his awards to finish out. Josh also picked. Ikuta Erika for his uh, Naimono Nedari award mm -hmm. for Sadis graduation. Uh, up next is uh, more of a managerial one. It's the Seed and Flower award for worst moment of worst the year. Worst moment of the year. My worst moment is uh, when you go to the meet and greet and you're in the call in line and the thing blips and you hear a voice, but it's not the member, it's the staff. And they're like, Okyak-san, kikoemasuka. And your heart just sinks. Because you know you ain't getting through. That's yeah. the worst moment. Yeah. Mine, mine was also the the Gaijin band, dude. I remember I was like, I held off at first. I was like, yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll see. I'm probably, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm like really feeling it. But then, you know, seeing all the FOMO from like watching people tweet about it and things like that, I was like, all right, maybe maybe I go in on this dude. Got got me some handshakes or you know some tickets. Was excited. Got all dressed up. Had my iPad ready. Mm -hmm. I was in Discord mm -hmm. with the guys. Yep. Oh guys, it's my turn. It's my it's my turn. I'll be right back. Mute. Ah ah, sumase. Okay, kisan no kikoi maska. No, I didn't want to meet staff. I wanted to meet the members. Yeah, dude. Uh, so I didn't get to meet anybody. Uh, man, Oof. it just really, I don't know, it really kind of sunk my motivation to follow the group for a little while, right? Because you just feel yeah, so, yeah. so I, I, yeah, same. Totally get you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same. Same. So, uh, uh, clearly, Josh also felt the same way because he put Miguri for uh, his Seed and Flower Award for Worst <laughs> Moment of the Year. Uh, all all the, the Gaijins, we be feeling it, dude. We are here I think for you. We, uh, it was obvious for all, all three of us because uh, we got hit with a. Minus couple hundred dollars of nothing, you know what mm. I mean? I mean, like, uh, mm. granted, we could have just like, oh yeah, I'm in Japan, and then like keep reading out the address that we use. But man, that was a fucking hassle. It didn't need to be that. Yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, not like this. No, like for for an online meet and greet when the whole point of it is it's online, right? Like, yep, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, like a lot of people got through. They're not as strict now. Um, but mm -hmm. it is what it is. Uh, that's it for Sad Boys Corner, is it? No, let's. Yeah, one, one more. more. Uh, last award for this uh, category is the Where's My Yoshimoto Zaka Single Award for Things We Missed in 2021? <laughs> and mine is Where's My Yoshimoto Zaka Single? <laughs> Badge. They were making Badge. good music. Uh, oh, completely absent uh, in 2020 and 2021. But they are releasing a uh, 
best of album, which I think will have some new music at least for uh, this year, 2022. So at least we got that. But yeah, it sucks, man. I was actually excited for that group. Like I, I wanted to yeah, yeah. see what they were going to do next. I, th- I think, yeah, we were all very pleasantly surprised, right? We kind of thought that they were going to be the meme group. But then as they kept putting out work, it was just like very, very well produced, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, my pick, though, is going to be uh, no studio audiences for music shows, Sag. Oh. Um, you know, it just, it just, yeah, yeah. Especially the the last few shows, right? Because last year, we were talking about this yesterday, like, you know, some of the music shows. I think Japan wasn't quite at the level that they were now, so they kind of still had the same vibe for all the shows. But this year, during the end of the year, you just really felt it, right? There was no audiences yeah. for the show. And it just kind of missed that vibe, right? Right. It was like a lot less excitement. Like, I mm-hmm. watch Music Station Super Live every year, and that's like the one show I get excited for the most. But this yeah, year, yeah, yeah, yeah. it just didn't have the energy. I mean, there was an audience. Well, obviously, there's like the precautions and the guidelines, right? You can... You, you can only do can't this. Cheer, you can't you can't do, yeah, yeah. And like all the artists are in different places, right? They're like separated, and you know, obviously it's for mm-hmm. safety reasons. But like, yeah, it just wasn't the same. They didn't have yeah. the energy, so it's pretty unfortunate. Hopefully this year. Yeah. Uh, Josh said, uh, "The plastic walls have not come down yet." <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what he means. I'm guessing during the COVID the precautions, right? Like, yeah. yeah. Whenever they're yeah. on TV shows. Yeah, there's always mm. the... Yeah. All right. Uh, we, uh, yeah, that does it for Sad Boy's Corner. Wrap that up. Yeah, it can't be on. sad forever, dude. Yeah. Let's look, look to the future. Yeah. In 2022. Uh, where, uh, you know, things we're excited about or hope to see in the coming year. Uh, first award is the... The Shilling Award for product or commercial you would like for any member or group to promote in 2022. Um, my award will go to, uh, I'm looking forward to, Hinata Zaka and Solar Energy. Let's go. Ooh. Climate change getting serious. Yeah, there we go. Worse. There we go. Uh, you know, let's get some solar panels up on my roof, please. California is not doing the tax incentive anymore, so that shit's oh. expensive. <laughs> but if he not the Zaka can do a little sub sum, <laughs> little promo code. He let not me get the some Zaka renewable here. energy out here. Come on, solar energy. He not the Zaka. I mean, right? That's their whole thing. Like in the sun. That's my award. Uh, mine is a uh, more of like a specific member collab. Uh, I talked about this a little bit on the podcast before. Uh, I feel like, you know, uh, after her hiatus, Ki-chan, Kitano Hinako has been very chill. We haven't been seeing her bend any frying pans or oh. or tear any shonen jumps in half. And God, I fucking miss it. But she's been she's been getting a little bit more lively on the shows. I feel like she's been starting to stand out again. Um, so hopefully maybe we'll see her a little bit more more strength. And something that could help her along the way is only the best quality uh, Olympic iron plates and oh. barbells by Aleko. So I would love to see a Kitano Hinako X Aleko collab, dude. Ooh, get them weights, Aleko. Not yeah, Rogue. The oh, Rogue doesn't make. Oh. Okay. Oh, um, I mean Rogue Rogue makes them too, but I feel like Aleko's Aleko has got the they they've got the prestige. They've been doing it Ooh. since like forever, you know. Rogue's a little bit more newer. Newer. Mm. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. There's Josh said, uh, Nogizaka and the Slope Podcast. Wow. Uh, I think that's is, is more... Is Nogizaka uh, promoting the Slope Podcast? Or are we going to be promoting Nogizaka in mm. an official manner? Only Josh can tell. Only Josh can tell. But I think that is uh, a lofty dream, more so than the, the two of ours. <laughs> but he's he's go going to... for the deep Hail Mary, dude. Yeah. yeah. Um, end zone to end zone. Let's go. All right, let's go to the next award. It's the Back to Two Groups Award for most anticipated news or activity in in 2022. Uh, And my most anticipated news or activity is uh, Nogizaka's new generation. 
that they said they were going to announce at the end of December sometime, but they didn't. So where are they at? I'm guessing oh, at we're gonna have birthday. birthday. Barcoa yeah. Haku would have a you know fifth gen eventually appear <laughs> after the, <laughs> the fourth gen. <laughs> Just like Hikake. swarm the stage. Hey. You know? <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, where, where they no, so where they at? Where they at? I, I expected to be talking about them already and like picking initial favorites, that kind of shit, you know. But uh, mm-hmm. you know, nobody yet. So looking forward to that. I, f- I feel like mine. It's because we keep getting teased, right? Mm-hmm. Every year, some member makes their their the New Year's resolution. Oh, we want to do more. We want to reach the world, right? Say hi, a dude. You uh-huh. know. Um, you know, we we had a uh, Z- or sorry, uh, Sakura Zaka in Times Square, right? Yeah. And then the, their management ma- making a post, Sony Music making a post, right? They clearly see it. Oh, much love, international fans. We'll be seeing you soon. Come on through. Don't just talk about it. Be about it, huh? Yeah, man. Let's stop Walk. talking about it. Let's be about it. My my yeah. my most anticipated activity for 2022 is uh, maybe some actual international activities. God damn it. Yeah. And I might say international. I don't. I don't just mean. Oh, we're going to fly out to Taiwan, dude. Oh, maybe a maybe maybe a Hong Kong show, you know? Let's uh, let's go to a different continent, maybe. Yeah, man. Come on. Mm. Now, every time they say that, man, it's like, man, that's bullshit, man. That's a yeah. lot of bullshit, bro. I don't believe yeah. that. Oh, Nogizaka World Tour, yeah. starting off in Tokyo to Osaka to Shanghai. Yeah, back to Tokyo. Keep going west. Oh. <laughs> I don't believe when they say that until I'm looking at them on stage. Yeah, you know. So yeah, dude. Uh, we we got the what is it the the cryptocurrency? <laughs> what is it? Crypto dot com arena. arena or whatever. Yeah, the, oh yeah, dude. Nogi Zaka at the crypt, dude. Let's go. <laughs> the crypt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So those uh, are some things Josh said. One more mention of the international fandom without management actually doing something for us. I think that's the same as Jimmy's. Yeah, got a little jaded there. You got a little yeah, jaded. He got there. a little jaded, but uh, basically same thing. So we just want to see him come, yeah, not just yeah. talk about coming over. You know. Yeah. So that's 2022 uh, category. Ooh. Let's move on to just our personal slope podcast awards. Some of our favorites here, and just you know, awards pertaining to the podcast itself. First up, best technical difficulty. Um, you know, a lot of shit goes wrong on this podcast. Never, it's, it's never smooth. You know, Josh Sometimes had to leave, disappears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes my computer just can't handle it anymore. Um, mm. Sometimes yeah, power goes out. You know that kind of shit. So. Um, my best technical difficulty is is uh, actually uh, technical difficulties uh, by Racer X. <laughs> it's Paul Ooh. Gilbert playing the song. Look at the shredding. Look at that guitar Ooh. technique. Uh, his long ass fingers. Goddamn. Uh, I you're honestly going couldn't. From the eighth to twelfth fret, dude. <laughs> So I honestly couldn't think of of uh, a technical difficulty that happened that was very uh you know memorable. So here you go, it's Paul Gilbert. Ugh, what a cop out. All right, Jimmy, go ahead. My mine was uh Josh not recording the Batsu or the camera stopping to record <laughs> and us not noticing it during uh the P- the music video quiz. Yeah. And then me having to make a an animatic to fill it in. Uh, I remember that because I had to draw that shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Some technical difficulties right there. Josh said the appearance of a certain videos on the channel. Yeah. Uh, some guess... interviews pertaining to maybe a, a specific show. That I we guess that's a technical about. difficulty. They, they, they uh, technically yeah. boomed us is what happened. <laughs> Fuck. That was a very uh, 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 depressing time as, as a member, moment, dude. Like, as a member yeah. of the Slope Club. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like yeah. We were we, flying we, so we, high, and they clipped <laughs> our wings. Goddamn. Dude. Oh man. I've. I've 
don't want to think about it ever again. <laughs> yeah, dude. If you uh, if you're ever wondering what Icarus felt like when his <laughs> wings suddenly melted in the sun, oh, now uh, I know, dude. Now I know. Yeah, no, uh, no details. We cannot uh, share. Yeah, one day, dude, we'll write one... our memoirs, and you guys will finally know what happened, dude. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Two more awards. This is my personal award, the Boykun Award for shortest hair. Uh, it's not uh, an opinion. It's 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 just uh, facts out here. Um, my award goes to Sami Uh Her hair is not the shortest. I think the shortest is still like when she debuted. Uh, debuted, yeah. It's still the shortest, but she's gotten close. It's pretty short. It's cute though. It's very cute. It's very round head. Right? Round head. Sami Ray. West Coast, mm -hmm. let's go. Ooh, uh, my pick is gonna go to uh, Higuchi Hina, uh, specifically in the uh, what is it? The uh, Time Flies little music video dance videos mm -hmm. that they did. Very nice. I love the Bob cut. It's one of my favorite cuts. Uh, reminds me of, of peak Nanamine days, right? She's got that kind of uh, oh, what is that like? It's not quite a middle part, almost like a like a fifty, like a sixty forty oh, split, right? Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. Very nice, very aesthetic. Frames her face beautifully. Uh, good look. Yeah. Josh ever since said she Higuchi cut her hair as well. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so ever since she cut her hair, it's uh, it's like, damn. <laughs> the short yeah. hair really like did her good, you know. Um. Yeah, Josh also said Higuchina. Let's keep going to Josh's personal award, the Josh Box Award for Best English. Uh, and my award will go to Ten Chan for reading the prompter at Whoa. the EMA. You know, dude, I, 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 I literally, I legitimately cued hearing her English, dude. It's so cute. It's like, dude. oh man, the pronunciation sounding good, you know, and you yeah, know dude. the accent, Tenego, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go, ten chan. Uh, All right. My m mine is going to go, uh, not so much for maybe like best in terms of like, like a build like quality, but memorability, mm. and that's going to go to waiter sick, in from <laughs> Nagare Dama, dude. Waiter sick. <laughs> God damn it, man! It's, it's the impact, dude. The the entire song stops for them to say wait a sec right and the <laughs> execution gets gives you waiter sick dude they and to this it, day and to this day i refuse to believe that is anything besides waiter sick oh god that's like one of the things that like prevents from me from liking nagaradama it's like <laughs> the english is terrible Sorry, man. Right. Like some of the other English, like bad English in that song, you can easily just ignore, right? Because it's like mixed into the song, right? Like it's part yeah. of the melody and things like that. And so like there's always going to be some pronunciation, right? Like, oh, like where did it sh shoot from Stray Bullet, right? Instead of shoot yeah. from or whatever, right? Yeah. But like, okay, whatever. I can get over that. I don't really listen. I don't really hear that when I listen to the song. Mm -hmm. But when they stop the instrumentation, pause, Waiter, Camera. sick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which was also like, Josh's pick. Yeah, because it like it sounds like the song ends, mm -hmm. right? It like the, the horns sustain mm -hmm. stops. <laughs> Waiter, sick. <laughs> Best English. Let's go. <laughs> Let's, uh, yeah, Josh also picked Waiter, sick, and with that. Moving right along to the Jimmy specific award here. It's what is the, the the Jimmu tweets award oh, shit. for most likely to make someone Oshi head. Mm. Dude. It's what uh, they call the uh, what are those uh, the the bias oh, Oshi records Oshi bias records. records yeah that's what yeah. it is. Um, mine is uh, Umezawa. Minami, because I, I literally changed to Ume Oshi. Not because I Oshian, but because Momoko graduated. So it's, you know, yeah, Vice Captain 
Umza Minami. Plum wine, let's go. Mine is going to go to uh, Yumiki now. I don't know. Ooh. She's really shot up for me uh, this past yeah. year. I want to say she's in like my like top three or top five quite yet per se, but she's very high trajectory. Um, mm-hmm. I, I really feel like she's like the complete package for what I look like, look or look like what I look for in an idol. And yeah. so, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm really excited to see how she blossoms. Plus, she's one of the older ones, so you always yeah. gotta you know support the old, the old debut That's idols. Grandmas. Too. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Josh, Josh is going to go with uh, Higuchi Hina, uh, surprising no one, I believe. Yeah, I think he put her last year also. So, yeah, no difference. He just right. he should just do it already. He should yeah, just do it. Already. Just just do it. Just do it. I mean, I, uh, he's not here, but I, I believe he's already chosen her. You know, yeah. Iku Chan's gone, but you know, he won't say it. But he just spoilers. Yeah, I have that feeling. He probably chose her. That's what I think. But uh, yeah. Um, and here we come to the last award of the Slow Ooh. Podcast Awards. This is the bestest 46 award for best group. And my award goes to... It's my envelope. Ruffling paper. Nogizaka 46. Oh. Uh, you know, they were just the most enjoyable for me. I mean, I just kind of like Nogi the most. So, um, you know, despite my Oshi graduating and a bunch of other favorites graduating. Um, yeah, I, I watched everything Nogi related. Not everything, but like I prioritized everything Nogi related. Which is the same thing I said on the uh, Sakamichi series 2021 video that we put up last week, I think. Yeah, Nogi was just the most enjoyable for me. Uh, they made it easier by putting Nogichu on YouTube. Um, I don't think they released the best music, but their music this year was still very enjoyable. Three singles, an album. Uh, yeah. And it's, you know, if you watch from the beginning, my favorites from music and production were mostly Nogi Zaka. So, yeah. That's it for me. All right, and then my award for best bestest forty six award goes to oh. Sakura Zaka forty six. Oh. Uh, much like what I you know discussed in that other video. I mean, I've I've I, I think this surprise is absolutely no one. I've always had a soft spot in my heart for this group of girls specifically. Right, uh, they were one of the first idol groups I followed from conception. So from Tori Zaka to mm. Kiaki Zaka mm. to Sakura Zaka. And, you know, I it was very tumultuous for me at the beginning of Sakura Zaka, right? I, I was one of those people that was very much like they didn't need the name change. They need to do all this. There's a part of me still feel that way. Sure. But with, with what we have now with with Nagare Dama, probably their strongest release, I would argue probably their strongest release out of like the entire Keiaki to discography. Yeah. Let's to go. Sakura Zaka discography yeah, yeah. as far as pr- production quality goes. Uh I, I am so pleased with with what this group is putting out. I'm so happy. I love I love uh, the variety that we're getting in the with the new members and how uh, the group is really getting to, sp- to display and discover new parts of themselves. Yeah. So uh, it's been a really good year for me to enjoy Sakura Zaka 46. Right on. And uh, Josh actually put Hinata Zaka for all the Ohisama in the chat. So Ooh. you know, if you want to know his reasons. Go watch the Sakamichi Series 2021 video. Um, I think he attributed it mostly to uh, their rise in popularity. So, yeah, their their omnipresence on on television, right? Yeah, we each picked a different group. Look at that! And uh, you know, that's like the best place for Sakamichi group to be in, right? When yes. you have so many things to enjoy from all the different groups. Yeah. And so that is all the awards this year for the Slope Podcast Awards. I'm going to do another transition. And uh, bam. There you go. Let us know what you guys have in your awards in the comments. Yes. 
would like to yeah. know some of your uh, picks and some of your favorites um, this year or last year, rather, 2021. I should just say the number and not this or last. How confusing. <laughs> but um, yeah. Yeah. What else? Thank you guys so much. I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned. We've got lots of other new videos coming out for season four. Oh my God. Can you believe it? It is our, uh, this is our fifth annual award. We're coming on mm -hmm. to our sixth year of doing this podcast. Uh, and the only way you can be a part of it is if you follow us on twitch.tv slash slope club, hang out with us during the live shows. We always interact with you guys during the post show, the break and the, the pre-show or, uh, give us a subscribe on YouTube. We have lots of other videos coming out down the pipeline. We can uh, meet in person now. So we've been putting out yeah. videos like crazy. I hope you enjoyed all those videos we put out during our break. And we've definitely got more coming out. So uh, stay subscribed for that. But that's going to be up from us this time. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.